Hey guys, so this is a little bit late, but um, last weekend, last weekend or the weekend before, I was at Comic Con and it was in Calgary, which is by where I'm from. And I just kind of wanted to share with you guys like what I got and what I did. And I have like a couple of vlog videos I'll like put in um, that are all right. Um, so yeah, I just want to get it's started. the same as like any other Comic Con, you can like guests come and you can get your photos with them and autographs and all kinds of stuff. So like the first um, photo ops that I got that I was super excited was um, two of the guys from Sons of Anarchy. So it was Kim Coates who plays Tig and Mark Boone Jr. who plays um, Bobby. So here's my picture and I got it signed and I love them. And they were super nice and they basically told me that they loved me and that it was gorgeous and it was so much fun and I got hugs and I love them and I'm fangirling and they're great. Uh, last year I got to meet Norman Reedus who plays um, Daryl in The Walking Dead and he's in Boondock Saints and I love him too. So this year um, there was some other people from The Walking Dead. Um, Michael Rooker who played Merle, um, Lori Holden who played Andrea and now I can't remember her name, the girl who plays Beth. That's terrible. I'll have to insert it somewhere. So that's my picture with them. And I was like super, super nervous. And then when I got their autographs, um, Michael Rooker is like, I like this picture. I'm like, yeah, I was so nervous. And he's like, yeah, that's why I was holding your hand. Like they're super, super nice people. I love them all. And then lastly, I got to meet Tom Felton. And he's super nice too, and he's like so gorgeous, and his accent is so dreamy. And I went to a panel um, of his, so I'll try to put the panel in somewhere now. Into characters then, Draco Malfoy. Uh, <laughs> when you were going in, you know, just auditioning, even just for, you know, Harry Potter, did you have any idea how popular the books were all re already were and, and were becoming? No, shamelessly, I was probably the only cast or crew member that hadn't read the books. Um, yes, and they had open auditions in England where anyone was allowed to come up and, uh, and try an audition. So there were thousands and thousands of kids, and they used to line us up. And I never forget my first audition was Chris Columbus uh, just going down the row of kids and saying, what are you most excited about from the book coming to the film? <laughs> and I was just standing there as a little... Uh, little sob, not, not realizing that obviously this question was going to come to me any, any second, so the kid next to me said something about uh, wanting to see the goblins from the Green Gods. So I just said, yeah, those Green Gods, they're awesome. I, just, I really want to see those Green Gods too. And I'm pretty sure he knew I was lying straight away. So that may have helped me get the part of mouth. It's great that the, that the fans, sort of, it's, it's ever growing. I feel like it's a rite of passage now for youngsters. Um, Half the reason I haven't read the books was because reading really wasn't cool when I was uh, 11 and 12. Certainly not where I was. If you were seen reading in your lunch break, it was kind of a, you know, not the thing to be doing. Uh, and within two years, that completely switched on its head. And suddenly I was the outcast because I hadn't read the books. Yeah. So it's amazing that uh, it's inspired so many people to to, to re, uh, relearn how, how enjoyable reading can be. So the first author that I was pretty excited for, even though I haven't read his book yet, um, was Max Brooks, and if you don't know who that is, he wrote uh, World War Z. So I got this book signed. This is um, the movie version. So that is signed, and because I love you guys and I have 400 subscribers now, I'm gonna do a giveaway for this copy. So I will do a separate giveaway video just so this one's not crazy, but know that this is coming up. And then, because I wanted something for me from him, I got, like, the box set of World War Z and the um, Zombie Survival Guide. So he signed, like, the outside of the box. And he signed both of my books. Like, personalized them. So as I say, don't go north unless you're, you are ready. And the Zombie Survival Guide. To Justine, be aware of your surroundings. So, and he's super nice, and he's freaking so hot. Um, 
I like posted a picture and my mom was like, can you bring him home because he's hot? And I was gonna go tell him that and he was disappeared. So maybe he knew that as being a crazy stalker and he didn't want any part of that. Um, and then the next person author that I met that was really super excited, exciting too. Um, you guys all should know who this is. Um, I met R.L. Stein. So he wrote Goosebump books, um, and the Fear Street novels, which I haven't read. I've read most of the Goosebump books, but it was like a long, long time ago, so I don't really remember. Um, and this is my copy, so he, um, personalized it for me. And then this one is signed. And let me tell you a little story, because I did have an extra copy of this, The Haunted Mask, um... But when I was standing in line, there was a guy behind me and he didn't have a copy of the book. So I gave him my extra copy that I was going to use possibly for a giveaway. So I might possibly do a giveaway on this guy if you guys can convince me to. If not, it'll just be for the Max Brooks book because I want them. Because I want them both. Look at how good they look. And he touched them. And I was went to his panel, and I have some of his no. panels. No. Um, <laughs> usually, I'm fairly conservative, I guess, because they're always telling me, make it scarier. Oh. <laughs> they make it scarier. All the publishers say, you know, hype it up, make it scarier, make it gorier. There was only, I was told this, talking about this yesterday, I can only think of one case where I went too far. There was a Goosebumps book called The Girl Who Cried Monster. And there's a librarian who is a monster. Mm -hmm. And in the first draft of the book, uh, this girl sees the, sees the librarian eat a kid. And they kind of thought that was going too far <laughs> to have a kid eaten. So I changed it and I put a bowl of live turtles on the librarian's desk. And every once in a while, he picks up a turtle and he eats the turtle. Which was actually better, right? Because it's crunchier. A lot crunchier <laughs> than a kid. But that's the only time I can remember where they told me to you know, pull back a bit. And I was actually sitting right beside his wife. So that was super hilarious. And when I went and got the stuff signed, she's like, Hey, I remember you. You were sitting beside me. And they were like all really, really, really nice. And it's so awesome when people are nice. Especially if they're famous. And you think that like, if they were jerks, it would totally wreck your perception of them. And then... Um, I got three other book, kind of books, and these are kind of because Little Book Owl likes them so much, and I was at a comic con, so I was like, well, I should maybe get, like, a comic book, kind of, so I got some Adventure Time novels. Um, so this one is Adventure Time Mathematical Edition Volume 1. So, I don't know, it's all, I've never read any Adventure Time, but I feel like I would like them. So I got that one, and then I got volume two, which looks like this, and uh, volume three. And I'm really excited to read these because I feel like I'm kind of a kid at heart. Like, all the other comic books there have chicks with big boobs, and they're not wearing any clothes, barely, and like, I don't know. I'm not into that. So I want the kitty ones like Adventure Time. So thank you Little Book Owl for having them on your channel and making me want to get them. So shout out to you. Thank you. And then I got two more like booky things kind of. I bought a time turner. Yep, I sure did. And I'm pretty excited about that. And then this one I'm super excited for also. And it is a Mockingjay pocket watch necklace. Oops. So it opens up and I got my little pocket watch in the back. It's so pretty too. So yeah, I'm really excited for those. And then I got a shirt this year like with my past. So I just kind of want to show you that. Calgary Expo. And it hits a little thing. And the only thing that sucks is I thought it was a different shirt and it wasn't. It was this one and it's brown and yellow, which reminds me of poop and pee. Sorry, gonna be blunt. I don't like brown. I think it's yucky. 
And then just the last little thing I got because I love Norman Reedus is a Daryl print and look at how sexy he is. Yes, but I can't tell my hubby because he got mad last year when I got Norman Reedus stuff. So that I have to hide. Um, yeah, and I think that's it besides all the stuff that I'm gonna put in and it was a super awesome time. So watch for my giveaway. I'll have a couple more videos um, for you guys today because I haven't done any in a while. I'll see you guys later.